All right, guys. So it's like one in the morning. I I, I got to be the, one of the craziest YouTubers. I swear. I meeting up with people at 1:30 a.m., 2 a.m. to go drifting when I'm in my room playing Forza Six, and. <laughs> I expect a uh, right-hand drive Miata, which is epic as fuck, and then he brings his brother with an R32, and my drifting spot might not be so secret anymore. <laughs> but uh, let's see if this thing rip. Oh, you shouldn't need to be in third. Jesus Christ! He's gonna have no tires. Yeah, it's slippery. Slippery. Body roll, dude. Body roll. Crazy. Right hand drive Miata too. Guys, the fucking GTS is already down. The slave cylinder blew or something. He's checking it out now. But uh, as you saw, that that thing had a lot of power compared to my 240. <laughs> but he's trying to fix it now. It is so cold out here, guys. I should be sleeping, but this is totally worth it. Here's the engine. He's probably got some. Jesus Christ. Is it a stock turbo manifold? Yeah. Stock turbo, stock what size is it? A T25? I have no idea. It looks like my turbo. It looks like a T25. It's small one, is it? Yeah, it's probably a T25 or a T28. It's quick, but it's small. Yeah. It's probably a T25. Oh, I think that might be an open dip. No, it's not. It is? Probably the body roll. Jeez. <laughs> this one is crazy. It's actually not as loud as I expected. But that's good. I don't like loud cars. I wonder if that was second or first. big-ass flame you just shot a big-ass flame you gonna give it a shot yeah. all right right hand drive me on now that was a big-ass flame well you got no clutch again yeah. <laughs> all right Watch it. Hey, ah. this is fucking epic all right, all right he's gonna give it a shot all right so the right hand drive me is gonna give it a shot now I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth. <laughs> it's so smooth, that was awesome. <laughs> it's so quiet, I love it. Second. First gear is too short. Once you get up in the RPMs, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Like yeah, they're sketchy. Rev it higher, feather. Rev it higher. Here, clutch. look, come here. Look. Go around, go around that pole and then drift out. But so the opposite, I was coming in this way, go this way. So you don't have to worry about hitting nothing. Yeah, go on the outside of the white van and then dump the clutch. Yeah, around, around this pole and then come back this, this way. Area out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. 
It should do it. It's. I know that thing doesn't have a lot of power, so I mean, I understand. It, it, it slides like fucking easy. Yeah. <laughs> he needed more speed. More speed. More speed. <laughs> Little more speed. He can hold it, I mean. up to you. Sure you get home. Maybe that, that might be it. There is no <laughs> tread left. It's fucking bold. Oh, you see? You got a couple more. Yeah, you, if anything, you got one shot and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so uh damn, I don't even know his name. What's your brother's name? John? I thought so. Oh that was good! Yeah, I just missed it. He did a good one. But he's gonna hop in the 240 with me. I'm gonna take him for a quick ride along and uh, I'm gonna have his brother. What's your name? <laughs> Matt, John and Matt. So John's gonna hop in the car with me, who drives the right-hand drive Miata, and then his brother Matt's gonna record us. So uh, let's do this real quick. Let's light him up. That's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. That's a lower control arm. Yeah, I can see it. A lower control arm is... Is this one okay? Well, this one's okay, so that's good. You're gonna have to order that, but um, I don't live too far, so if you have to leave. Same thing as a 300ZX or two. Oh really? Junkyard. Shine your flashlight under there and make sure your oil pan's okay. It's not leaking. Nothing's leaking. Yeah, it shouldn't be. I just want you to check and check your steering rack and stuff. Make sure none of that's bent. Is it? I fucked everything up, dude. Lower control arms fucked. This front torsion bar right here is fucked. Uh, the rims are fucked. Uh, what well, else is fucked? This front bar thing, that's not too this bad. This bar, yeah. yeah well, it's bad, but you gotta, what I'm saying is, that's, that's pretty cheap. ISIS makes a, uh, aftermarket one. Man, at least it was your lower, at least it was on your subframe and it's your lower control arm. That's, I mean, it sucks, but that's a plus. That's what I did to mine. My lower control arm was fucked. Yeah. Mine. I bent mine in my Miata. As long as, at least your subframe isn't bent. That's what's good in your steering rack and everything i'm sure your tow rod bent did you know how close you were to that fucking dish though yeah that could have been a lot worse yeah i think the wheel's probably fine i think you this rim and i fucked that rim yeah but that's a little crack there that's a little crack look at that crack just like yours nah mine was split wide the fuck over on my rpa no 
Well, if you have to leave it at my house tonight, that's fine. Why? Um, it rolled from there to here. I don't know if you can drive it somehow. I mean, if not, you can leave it right up the street. I mean, this is an industrial park. It's the weekend. No one's here all weekend. You can shine under there and then look at mine. It might be. Or you can just... Actually, I think it is. Just drive it forward a little bit. Your wheel's a little bit to the left, too. You... No, 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 no. You can't. You can't drive. It's it's hitting the, uh, the back. Can you turn your wheel to the right a little bit, or is that wheel straight? Oh, your wheel's not straight. Can you straighten the wheel? Oh, you can't turn, can you? Damn. That's what I'm saying. The side yeah. skirt is tucked under. No, it's that. it's not the side skirt. He's literally pushed up against the cars. Back up. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you were just stuck under. Oh, you should be able to drive forward. Try to drive forward now. The wheel is. Oh, that's scary. All right, that's enough. That's enough. You can't drive it. The only way you're gonna be able to drive is reverse. <laughs> So if we have to reverse it up the street to get you out of this parking lot is what we're going to have to do. Keep going back. And then, yeah, that's the only way. We're going to have to get you up the street just to get you out of this parking lot so you don't get in trouble. Yeah, keep going. You're good. I'm watching you. Keep going up the street. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's it sucks but it I mean, could have well, been way worse yeah i mean yeah bad, i mean the only bad shit is that he's gonna have to get like steelies or something for the front the well they're real i i think he's ever i know he just crashed so you know your fucking blood pressure shit i think the wheels are fine no i mean on the inside of the dish on this left one it's a big crack oh really yeah. damn yeah well i got those same wheels but uh we're just getting him up the street guys his uh lower control arm is really fucked up so he can only go in reverse because when he drives forward it like pushes it up and it gets locked up so we're gonna take him a little bit up the street and I'll park it it's just packed up <laughs> we're gonna leave it here overnight hopefully it's all safe all right guys so it's the next day I just wanted to make this video to end the video from last night or pretty much a couple hours ago because it's 10 a.m. I woke up early because we we're swapping this car stay tuned for that video it's gonna be out tomorrow which is Sunday or Monday unsure don't know but we're pulling this engine today it's gonna be fucking horrible <laughs> but anyways I want to talk to you about something okay you saw a kid or actually not a kid he's like 25 wreck is r32 okay I don't need to see a bunch of comments hating how he can't drive he doesn't deserve that car because it's stupid he's I wanted to tell you that like this guy and his brother wanted to meet up and make a video for you guys to watch. They pushed their cars to the limits because, well, they didn't push their cars to the limits, they pushed themselves to the limits for you guys because they've never drifted before and I was giving them some pointers, I wanted them to learn and I wanted them to be safe about it. They've never really done drifting before and they wanted to get into it. And honestly, for pretty much their first real time really trying to, you know, like manji and get some big sweepers and stuff, they didn't do that bad at all. I mean, I was pretty impressed. So. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, that was their first time. Cut them a break. I mean, everyone wrecks. It's just part of the street drifting game. I mean, you got to be really safe about it. You got to make sure you got a way to work. I just want to avoid this happening again with anyone, whether it's you're with me or you're all by yourself. Just anyone watching this video know that that car is your way to make money, to get to work. That car could be a way to get to school. That car could be the way to take your mom somewhere, whatever, I don't know. And uh, I don't care if you got your girlfriend in the car, some hot ass bitch you just picked up, put your seatbelt on, be safe. And uh, I don't want no one getting hurt out there. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I just wanted to tell you that, that uh, we're literally out there risking totaling our cars, risking our license and all that kind of stuff for you guys. I just didn't want to see a lot of hate or nothing. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, wish him the best on his car. He's going to try to get it fixed today, and we'll catch you in the next video.